Today, we're going to be talking about this quote by John D. Rockefeller, where he once said, I would rather earn 1% off 100 people's efforts than 100% of my own efforts. We talk about this a lot, Kirby, especially in the instance in investing in real estate, where when you buy a property and that property is cash flowing for you, the reason it is cash flowing is because there are people that pay you rent that are going to work their effort at work is the reason why they're able to pay you and i especially like this quote because if you think about it how much can you actually produce income wise actively off of a hundred percent of your own efforts whereas how much income wise can a hundred people produce off of their efforts and getting one percent of that is pretty much the same amount because 100 people, 1% a piece, let's say, would add up to 100%. But what are your thoughts on on this uh, quote? Uh, you know, the, the quotes I use is, I'd rather, I'd rather get $1 from a million people than one person to give me a million dollars. Uh, you said it correctly. I mean, it's much easier. It's so much easier to get a million people to give you a dollar than to, you know, get one person to give you a million dollars. I mean, that's what every business, well, almost every business in the world does. I mean, just think McDonald's, it's over a million people that go to McDonald's every day. If you, if everybody spent $10, that's $10 million, you know, and $10 at McDonald's is damn near impossible now. You spend like $20, $30 every time you roll to McDonald's, but that's on a daily basis. And that's what it is. It's you want as many people funneling through to send you money. And then the other quote I always use is it's only 24 hours in a day. It's not enough time for me to maximize my income potential by just using my 24 hours. I need 24 hours from everybody else to use their work potential to give me money or to give me cash flow and then that's how i can optimize my earning potential and that's the same thing that the big guys do i mean you can go to warren buffer you can go to elon musk you can go to uh zuckerberg you can keep going down the line unless they're doing something like they're individual traders themselves which there's nobody in the super high net worth that's an individual trader themselves uh then that's what you do and the key here, and if you, if people listen to, like in the stock market, if people listen to conference calls, the things that drive stocks up and down is increased revenues, increased profits. Uh, if you listen to, to, you know, the Disney calls or the Netflix calls, it's uh, average users per month. They want to see that going up because the more users per month and active users and subscribers, because they know the higher that number goes up, that's more of other people's money that this company is getting on a monthly basis, you know, because of the subscription model. But that's how all companies is. They want to see the revenue going up. They want to see the customer growth going up. They want to see the traffic going up. But this goes back to what uh, Mr. Rockefeller said, and that is, I'd rather take 1% of 100 people's effort than 100% of my own because there's only 24 hours in a day. I mean... What's, what's the cap on how much money you can make in a day? Of course, people say infinite, infinite, but the truth is eventually you got to sleep if you're an active income earner. You're going to have to sleep. So if I just start taking little pieces of everybody else's 24 hours, then I can make money while I sleep. So I love the quote, and that's a concept that most people don't get. Most people think that, oh, the only way that I can make money is if I'm out here, if I go and flip something, if I go play the lottery, if... You know, if I go do a crap ton uh, of overtime and, you know, that's that worker, you know, lower middle class uh, poor mentality is, uh, oh, the way I can make more is by just working more hours, getting five and six jobs. Or you can produce a product or a service that a lot of people want and just get a million people to give you a dollar. And stop looking for the, the rap contracts, the acting contracts, the basketball contracts, the football contracts. There's nothing wrong with somebody doing those things and reaching that superstar level. But it's a 0.00001% chance for you to be in the NFL.
Exactly. It's even less to be in the NBA. Actors and rappers and all that, it's even less. So I'd rather get there for sure than try to get there quick or to put all my hopes and dreams on this one thing that's damn near a lottery ticket to get there. Exactly. And I like this quote too, because I think it goes hand in hand with Warren Buffett's quote where he says, if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you'll work until you die. And Mm -hmm. essentially the way that you find a way to make money while you sleep is having other people work and provide that income to you. So this is a, this is a really great quote. Rockefeller obviously is very well known in history for capitalism. Um, and I think this is a, if, if people really took this life lesson to heart that they could, they could produce quite a bit for of wealth for their families. Yeah. I think if people did a case study on John D. Rockefeller's, I mean, yeah, of course he made a lot of money, but just thinking about family legacy, passing down, uh, assets, you know, building trust, uh, building foundations and things like that. Because people always wonder, how do these, you know, how do how is old money, that's what they call it, old money. How is old money around? It's because of things that John D. Rockefeller did, you know, setting up things like that. If people study that, and then, you know, we always talk about, we do this so our kids, kids, kids can, you know, have wealth and be able to live in this life. And you said it, and you said it correctly with the Warren Buffett quote. Even now today, these people that's retiring, especially the boomers and the Gen uh, Zers that's getting close to retirement, they're not going to be able to retire and be comfortable. They're going to retire and be sleeping in a kid's basement or sleeping on a kid's couch because the pension funds is left. Uh, Most people don't invest properly in their 401k if they have a 401k. And Social Security is little or nothing, especially with as much as the inflation is on housing, services, goods, groceries, you know, we're not going to talk about gas. The ability to retire as they probably thought retirement, the golden age was, that's damn near impossible now if you don't have cash flow and assets that's producing you income outside of those uh, arenas or those platforms that are just spoke up. Absolutely. With all that being said, guys, if you like this video, hit the like button, leave us a comment down below, share and subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.